The huge machine is the most underrated and consistent flipping method in Pet Simulator 99, and thanks to Big Game's greed, the method just got a whole lot better. Let's talk about how this method is now better than ever and how you guys can do it for yourselves. Now, this method can be difficult to learn at first, but thankfully for you guys, I did all the math and made a guaranteed way for anybody to do this method and make a ton of diamonds. In this video, I will take you guys step by step and show you guys this method and the math behind it so that you guys can make these diamonds for yourself. And since Big Games keeps nerfing all the best ways to make diamonds in the game, it is only right we go back to the OG method and probably the most consistent method for making diamonds while flipping. So if this method is really that good, why don't other people do it? Now the simple answer to that question is that this method can be extremely difficult when you're just learning the game, but but I think after a 30 second explanation, you guys will understand it completely. As you guys can see behind me, I have the huge Atron or the huge machine. And for those of you who do not know, the huge machine is a simple machine that lets you turn exclusives into points. And then you can use those points to make these huge blurred Dominus eggs. And these eggs have some extremely lucrative huges inside of them. And people are willing to spend a lot to try to get them. The top huge in this blurred egg is worth over 1.2 billion diamonds just in the regular form. And obviously because of that, gamblers are willing to spend a pretty penny to try to open these and get those rare huges. So if we go ahead and open up the Hugetron, you can see that once you get a hundred points, it is free to craft one of these blurred Dominus eggs. And each type of exclusive gives you a different amount of points. For example, the 85% exclusive pets are just worth one point. So you can see these blueberry cows, I have three of them. If I use all three, that's gonna give me three points towards crafting this egg. And then something like the new huge blue cat, which is a 95% exclusive, all 95% exclusives give you three points. Now, if you do have an exclusive that is gold, that's gonna give you an additional one point over whatever percentage kind of exclusive it is. So a 95% gold exclusive is gonna give you four points. Shiny exclusives give you an additional three points and then rainbow exclusives give you an additional two points. So as you guys can see, there is a lot of different ways you can add up to get all of the points needed to craft this egg. The thing about the Hugetron is that as exclusives tend to increase in price, Obviously, the price to craft one of these Blur Dominus eggs is going to keep increasing. And since we've seen massive inflation with pretty much everything in the game in the last few months of the game, the Blur Dominus egg is now sitting at almost 150 million, with the current wrap value being 148 million. And because of that, there are only a select few exclusives that are actually worth it to use in this Hugetron to craft those eggs. Now, thankfully for you guys, I actually made a list of the best exclusives to use in this Hugetron that I'll show you in a second. The reason why this method is actually very good to do right now is because we've seen a huge dip in the prices of exclusives as the new black hole eggs have been flooding the market. A lot of people really like this exclusive egg and because of that, a lot more people are buying this now compared to the last few eggs. As well as that, in this update, we got access to the back rooms pack and this actually does contain a ton of eggs and a lot of people have been getting them from that pack and for that reason a lot more exclusives are entering the market now obviously this is a great thing for us because this is overall lowering the prices of exclusives in general which is going to make it much easier to do this method and increase our profit margin when selling the eggs now to figure out which types of exclusives are profitable i made this chart that basically just shows how many points each type of exclusive gives you and next to the points is how much you need to spend on each of these types of exclusives to basically break even on crafting this egg. Now, this is extremely useful because you can use this chart and basically if you find any of these types of exclusives for under these values, that means it's going to be worth it to use them to craft the Blur Dominus egg. And as you can see from this chart, I have highlighted the 90% exclusive and this is because this is the only pet that you can consistently find for under that value that is going to give you a good margin when you go ahead and sell the egg. Now, it is important to note that not all 90% exclusives will work for this method because not all 90% exclusives are obviously under that 2.96 million 
price. And because of this, I made this other chart, which is basically a list of the best 90% exclusives to use for this method. Now, obviously these numbers are going to change as prices do change, but I will have this spreadsheet on my discord. If you guys want to change the numbers for what the current prices are for you. And you'll notice on this chart, I have listed the amount of these exclusives that exist. And this number is extremely important because this is going to be determining how often you're going to be finding them in the trading plot. So obviously the ones that have high numbers that exist on this list are going to be much easier to find and will probably be more worth your time actually looking for in the terminal. For example, you can see on this list the tie-dye bunny is pretty cheap, but there's only about 33,000 of these that exist. So you're not going to find them too often in the training plaza compared to something like the orange axolot. And then something like the sketch cow might be a little more expensive than the tie dye bunny, but there are so much more of them that exist that it's going to be a lot easier to even find a deal on stuff like that. So in this example, it might be more worth it for you to look for sketch cows as it's going to save you a lot more time than if you were just looking for deals on tie dye bunnies. And then the last column is going to be how much profit you're going to make if you use just this one type of exclusive to make the egg. So as you can see on the chart, if you only use the orange axolot, which is currently the cheapest 90% exclusive, you're going to be making 40 million diamonds when you go ahead and actually sell that egg. And then if you use the most expensive exclusive on this list, which is the thunder bear, you're going to be making 15.5 million, which still isn't bad at all. But it's just something to consider if you are looking for a bunch of exclusives at a time. Now, obviously, you don't need 50 of the same type of exclusive to do this method. You could use all types. So the actual amount of profit that you do end up making is going to be somewhat of a mixture of all these numbers. The only thing with this method is that it will take you a decent amount of time to find all 50 exclusives as people really don't sell exclusives in bulk very often. But sometimes you might get lucky and find a bunch that somebody is selling and you can make a lot of profit really quickly but luckily i could show you guys the method that i use to constantly server hop and try to find these exclusives for this method so if we hop in the trading plaza and we'll hop in the terminal here now as you can see in my recents tab i actually already have this method down but basically these are all those pets that are on the list that I gave you. Now it's just easier to do it like this because I will first go looking for the orange axolot and then once I feel like I'm not finding any more deals on these, I will then go to the number two, which is going to be the black hole Immortus. And then from there, I'll keep just going down the list of each of these exclusives. Once I feel like I'm not finding any deals on each of them. And obviously, if you want to set up your terminal like this, all you have to do is just search up each of these and just click on them and then hit no. And then keep going in the list, typing in each of these and then clicking no and this is going to allow you to have all of these in your recents tab which is going to make server hopping a whole lot easier now i think i already have enough to craft another blurred dominus egg but i'm just going to show you me server hopping looking for some of these deals really quick all right so we're loading in and see this guy is selling for a little under wrap which is pretty good so we are going to buy this one for sure and then we're going to go through the list and buy any of these 90 percenters that are on this list so actually this guy has a few of the ones that are on our list. So this Thunder Bear is actually the worst on our list, but it is still profit nonetheless. So we're still going to buy it and he's selling it a little bit under wrap. So that is really good. He's selling the Sketch Cow for almost 200k under wrap, which is also really good. And this Balloon Corgi is pretty much at the exact wrap value that it takes to craft one of these eggs. So we're not going to buy this one and we're just going to keep moving along. All right, so I did find one more deal on the orange axe lot, but I keep getting this terminal error. So I'm probably just going to switch over to the next best one. And that's going to be the black hole Immortus. So now we're going to look at some deals for these and we're going to be looking for these at around the 2.3 million wrap. But obviously anywhere under that 2.96 price, we are going to be making profit when using it to combine. So this guy is actually selling them for all 3 million. So we're not going to buy those. We're going to keep looking and try to find some for a good deal. All right. So the next booth we came to, this guy actually has five of them, but he's selling them for a lot more than wrap. Now, just for the purposes of this video, I'm going to buy these because they are still kind of in that price range that we are looking for these. And if we do the math to see how expensive this egg is going to cost, 
We just have to multiply it by 50 and that's going to give us our price. So this means we are paying 135 million for a huge blur Dominus egg, which then we could sell for 148 million. So we're still making a 13 million profit on that. So that's good enough for me. And you guys are just going to have to determine whether what price range you're going to be looking for each of these. So I'm going to buy these. It's a good enough deal for me. And we're going to keep moving along and look for a few more deals before we go ahead and go craft another blurred Dominus egg. All right. So we found this booth. This guy is selling it for actually under wrap. So that is a great deal. We're going to take that. All right. So we found another one here. That is a good buy. Let's keep moving and find some. Some more all right so the trading terminal finally let us look for some orange axolots but thankfully we got a lot of good deals on those black hole mortises i think we only need a few more and then we're going to be able to craft one of these eggs they really need to fix this trading terminal this 773 error when looking for these items is so annoying i literally can't look for this orange axolot for no reason but thankfully at least this guy is selling it for a reasonable price so we did get a very good one i think we only need two to three more of these and we should be good so i'll see you guys in a second when i find those right so this guy has two of them which is perfect for a reasonable price just slightly under wrap value that is fantastic let's just go ahead and head out to the huge machine and craft this egg all right you guys so if we finally hear as you can see, I found a lot of good deals on these black hole amortices. Now, I think this is just because there are a ton of people opening these actively. And because of that, they're just instantly trying to sell them for a round wrap price. So that's why I could find a ton of these for a good deal. And then secondly, I could find a decent amount of these orange axolots. But honestly, the trading terminal was just broken and would not let me look for these for some reason. Besides that, we got some others like the Sketch Cow, the Thunder Bear, the Rift Dragon. And then uh, I guess this orange axolot is different because it's named. And then we have these other ones that are also on the list like the Mosaic Lamb, Mosaic Elephant. Uh, the Nightmare Bear is actually not on the list. It's a little too expensive. So is the Cool Corgi. So we're actually a little bit short on crafting this egg. But thankfully, I have these Golden Blue Cats that I actually found for $5 million earlier. And at that price range that I found them at, they are actually very good for using this method. But I'm sure you guys aren't going to find these for $5 million very often. So I would not suggest looking for them. I just kind of found them as a good deal. So I'm going to use it for this. And let's finally craft that huge blurred egg and there you have it guys that is the method you can rinse and repeat this method as many times as you want you just go ahead and sell this back at the trading plaza and then go ahead and buy a bunch more exclusives and do it again now i'm sure this method is always viable it's just that the types of exclusives that you can actually use to make a profit do change over time but i hope with the knowledge from this video you guys are able to calculate and figure out which of those pests that is again i'm gonna have the link to the spreadsheet i used in this video on my discord under research links if you actually want to look at the numbers or calculate specific exclusives for yourself i hope this method helps you guys to make a ton of diamonds and if you guys want to use another really good flipping method that's going to be very lucrative this week only check out this video i made on flipping cores i think it'll help you guys out a lot thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you in the next one peace out